know that. I just received this today. I absolutely love it whenever I get any of these postcards. I love collecting them too, be it the ones from friends or the ones I bought myself whenever I travel abroad. This time, this beautiful postcard is from a friend who is spending her holiday in Bali. She said that she is having a wonderful time surfing at the beaches. Well, that's my friend's hobby and she is always looking for a new spot to test her surfing skills. She also wrote that she has plans to go cave dining and spending one whole day at the adventure park. Wow, that sounds fantastic! Next, she also said that even though the food is mostly spicy, they are delicious. Have you written a postcard to your family member or friends before? No? Oh, why not? Even though sending emails and text messaging are more popular nowadays, sending postcards to friends, family or loved ones during travels can be a great way to show your affection as well as giving people an idea of where you are. Let me show you this. This is how a postcard looks like. It has two sides, the front, and the back. This is the front part of a postcard. It usually has nice pictures of the places where you've been. An easy indicator to let your friends know where you are. At the back of the card, there is a blank space where you write your messages. You do this on your left hand side. On the right hand side is where you write the receiver's address and stick a stamp on the right top part of it. The stamp acts as a payment for the delivery and the price is different depending on where you are sending the postcard to. The address you are writing should consist of Name of receiver The street name The city Postcode And the country Make sure you write the full address so that there'll be no problem with the delivery By the end of this lesson, you will be able to write a postcard by organizing, sequencing, and developing ideas intelligibly on familiar topics. Look at this beautiful image of a resort in Maldives. It looks amazing, right? Let's think of all the possible things you can tell your friend about this place if you are writing a postcard to her. Firstly, you can mention about the food, what you've eaten, and how they taste it. Then, 
briefly share the activities you did over there. Perhaps snorkeling or sightseeing or wave surfing. Maybe you would want to add about the resort you are staying at. Each unit has its own pool and a direct access to the sea. So, these are some of the possible things you can write in a postcard. So before we start writing, let's check out some linking words and phrases that will help your writing flow better. Use also as well and to and as well as to join ideas that are similar in some way or to add information. Mom also gave him some money to repair his bicycle. Jim ran to the man and helped him up. Mariam too was tired from all the walking they did this afternoon. She packed the sardine roll as well as the egg tart for her lunch later. You can use as, since and because to tell why something happens. He left his briefcase as he was in a hurry to leave for office. He has not written to us since he left his country. Rizal fell because he was careless. Furthermore, use like, such as, for instance, and for example, to give examples. They enjoy Thai food like seafood tom yum and chicken paprik. Citrus fruits such as oranges and lemons are high in vitamin C. For instance, it will be compulsory to wear pink on that day. The orphanage needs some essential items. For example, mattresses and blankets. But please remember this. You can use for example and for instance at the beginning of a sentence. But you shouldn't use like or such as to begin a sentence. Please read the writing task and answer the following questions. Question 1. What will you write? A postcard. Question 2. Who will read it? Emily. Question 3. What information should you include? Information about your holiday and say what you are going to do tomorrow. Question number 4. What question do you need to include? How is your holiday? Question 5. How many words do you have to write? Between 35 to 45 words. When you're writing, include some of the linking words and phrases that we've learned just now. Here's a sample answer from Sarah for the task. Hi Emily, 
we're having a lovely time in Maldives. The food is delicious. We've tasted dishes like banana flower salad, as well as the famous samosa and coconut juice. We're going wave surfing tomorrow morning. How is your holiday? Send me a postcard. Bye! Love, Sarah. Has Sarah included all the information she is supposed to write? Let's check. Did she write a postcard? Yes, she did. Who is the receiver of the postcard? She is Emily. What information did Sarah include in the postcard? She wrote that she was having a lovely time, ate delicious food, and the activity she was going to do the next day. What question did she need to include? She asked Emily about her holiday. And she did write in between 35 to 45 words. I've checked. When you're reading the postcard from Sarah, you can find that she has used some linking words and phrases in it. Can you find them? Correct! The answers are like, as well as, and, and. These are some points that have been included by the writer in her postcard and some are not in there. Choose the points that have been mentioned by Sarah in her postcard. Included a question. Use different adjectives. Included the plan for next day. Used informal language. Explained the positive points about the holiday. Included a greeting and ending. Apart from linking words and phrases we learned at the beginning of the lesson, I am going to share with you some useful expressions that will make your writing more natural and in flow. completing some of the phrases with your own ideas. It will be a good practice to express yourself better. In the meantime, I'll guide you by sharing some of my ideas for the phrases. 1. We're on holiday in Seoul, Korea. 2. The weather is sunny with clear blue skies. 3. The hotel is opposite the airport. 4. The beach is suitable for many family activities. 5. The food is delicious 
We've had grilled fish and chicken satay. Six, we've been to Osaka five times. We've seen the incredible cherry blossoms too. Here's a simple outline on how you can write an effective postcard to someone. Remind yourself to use informal register because we write postcards to our family, friends, and loved ones. Firstly, begin your postcard in a friendly way. You can use Dear Intan or Hi Intan. Then, jot down points needed as ask in the task. Separate them into paragraph just like in the diagram. Write about the holiday and explain what you have done so far in the first paragraph. In the second paragraph, write what your future plans are. In the third paragraph, ask the question that you are supposed to. Then, write the closing. You can use the informal phrase like, Bye, see you soon. You need to sign your name to indicate the sender. Finally, write the complete address. And your postcard is done. Now, you try writing one. You are writing to Ara in Brunei, but there's a slight difference between the second task and the first. Did you notice it? Yes. This task has no word limit given. Even so, your message must still be kept brief and simple. It should never be lengthy and wordy as how you are writing a letter. So, keep it short and sweet, yeah? Here's what Shui Min has written to Ara. She is spending her holiday in San Moritz, Switzerland. Let me read it for you. Dear Ara, we're on holiday in San Moritz, Switzerland. The weather has been terribly cold. We've done some sightseeing at the town and we have gone for skiing lessons. How are you enjoying your holiday? Send me a postcard. Miss you, Shui Min. Did you catch the points which I have read out just now? Let's hear it again. Now. Pay attention to highlighted parts on the screen. Dear Ara, We are on holiday in San Moritz, Switzerland. The weather has been terribly cold. We've done some sightseeing at the town and we have gone for skiing lessons. How are you enjoying your holiday? 
Send me a postcard. Miss you, Shui Min. Once finished, Shui Min made sure she checked her work first. She used this checklist to do a review. She made sure that she had followed the plan. All the while, using informal language which is grammatically correct. She also checked her spelling and punctuations so that there'll be no mistakes with her grammar and language. She also made sure that she has asked the question about Ara's holiday and all information is written in separate paragraph. Whoops, not forgetting her signature and address too. Well done, Sherman. Let's go through what we have learned today. We write postcards to our friends, family and loved ones. Therefore, you will use informal registers or informal language to write. Postcards are not like letters where you write lengthy explanations. They are mostly written briefly and straight to the point. Since postcards have no envelopes, be careful not to write personal matters in it. And remember the five parts of the postcards which are greeting, body, closing, address, and step. Secondly, remember the grammar and language rules which includes the usage of punctuation. Thirdly, you must always remember to check your spelling. And last but not least, do provide accurate information, just as what has been asked in the task. If there's a word limit that you should write, you must keep within the number of words permitted. All that we have discussed is about how to write a postcard. Let's remind ourselves not to do these when writing one. Look at the first sample. Don't write your information in point forms. They must be written in proper sentence and correct grammar. Next. Please pupils, this is important. Don't leave out the receiver's address. Your card will not be able to be delivered if this happens. On that note, don't forget the step either, okay? It is true that the latest form of communication is mainly through social application like email, text messaging, and other social media platforms. However, postcards are still relevant and happens to be one of the most thoughtful things you can do to your loved ones. The joy of receiving a postcard is an indescribable happy feeling. Give it a try and surprise someone. 
with that, we have come to the end of the lesson for today. Till then, stay safe and happy. Goodbye.